Barack Hussein Obama, 1961. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, Barack Hussein Obama is the first African American president of the United States of America. After high school, Barack Obama moved to Los Angeles, California and attended Occidental College, before transferring to Columbia University in New York City, New York. After graduating from Columbia University, Barack Obama moved to Chicago, Illinois, where he took a job as a community organizer. He excelled at this position but wanted to do more for the community than the position had the authority to accomplish. Barack Obama realized that he needed to go to law school and enrolled at Harvard University, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. While at Harvard University, Barack Obama flourished and eventually became the first African-American president of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. After Harvard University, Barack Obama's classmates assumed that he would be a front-runner for a clerkship, but he chose to move back to Chicago to practice law, consider politics, and reconnect with a young lady named Michelle who mentored him at a law firm he interned at. In 1996, Illinois State Senator Alice Palmer essentially gave up her Senate seat to Barack Obama, so she could run for a congressional seat. She lost to Jesse Jackson Jr., and then asked Obama for her seat back. Barack Obama refused to release his seat and launched his political career in Chicago, Illinois. In 2000, Barack Obama decided to run for a congressional seat that was held by Bobby Rush. He lost badly in the primaries and learned that he needed to follow Harold Washington's model and build coalitions to win elections. In 2002, while working as a state senator, Barack Obama became friends with David Axelrod and together they formulated a plan to help Barack Obama win a U.S. Senate seat. Then in 2004, Barack Obama caught his big break. Barack Obama was asked to deliver the keynote speech at the DNC, which featured John Kerry and John Edwards. This convention was watched by over 9 million viewers. In this speech, Barack Obama made some key phrases that helped him tremendously in gaining the trust of the American public. There is no black America, no white America, no Latino America, no Asian America. There is the United States of America. After Barack Obama's speech, he became a celebrity when he arrived in Washington, D.C., as a United States senator, which he won in November 2004, with 70% of the vote. It didn't take long for Barack Obama to realize that it was time to take a chance at the presidency, but he had a serious problem. His opponent would be a member of the most powerful democratic political machine in the country at the time, the Clintons. Barack Obama's edge was a speech he gave to a small crowd in 2003, suggesting that the war in Iraq was not in the best interest of the United States. As one of Barack Obama's supporters stated, that speech was the gift that kept on giving. After winning the primaries in Iowa it was clear that Barack Obama was developing momentum toward the presidency of the United States. Barack Obama's energy continued throughout the presidential race and on November 4, 2008, Barack Obama became the first African American to win the presidential election of the United States. A couple of months later Barack Obama was sworn in becoming the first African-American president of the United States of America. In 2012, Barack Obama became the first African-American to be elected to the presidency twice and in January 2013, he was sworn in a second time, allowing him to become the first African-American to serve two terms as the president of the United States of America. Barack Obama's wife Michelle became the first African-American First Lady of the United States of America.